สวัสดีค่ะ Today we gonna try Japanese method. You done it. I want my bread to be fluffy and to be very tender texture. And this is the dough after I knead it and before proofing. How to make you done it? This is the method. I heat my cup into microwave to make it continue. Uh, warm during I mix uh, the dough. I put 200 gram of all-purpose flour and hot boil water 200 gram and mix together well in warm cup because the reason we put it in warm cup uh, during the process of mixing I don't want the te temperature of uh, the dough to be cool very very quick so this way we still keep uh, the temperature uh, cold very very slowly i gently add the hot water the hot water it needs to be really really uh, hot it means it needs to be boiled properly after i mix it well then i wrap it with some uh, cream film and leave, let it in the room temperature for about three hour or I put into the uh, fridge for overnight let mix the dough I make quite a lot of dough because as you know milk bread or enriched dough is very difficult to uh, mix it and today I want to experiment or I want to show many people had complained that my recipe uh, make it very stiff dough so this is the tip and method i want to share with all of you who watching until now i don't know you are uh, had a patient to watch the video until now but if you do i have some tip for you it's easy and uh, your dough will never get stiff again so as you can see that i separate the dry ingredient and wet ingredient uh, in different bowl and this one I mix my starter uh, yudane and egg and milk into one separate cup and I mix together very very well uh, the reason I doing that because I want all the mixture when it mix with dry ingredient is can be uh, Mix is smooth and quicker. There you go, the yudane that I just uh, put in the fridge, and I just dump into the wet ingredient and mix together well. So I use my hand, or if you have other equipment to do, uh, you can use that. But I love to feel everything what I'm doing. So I don't use any kind of electric mix mixture or stand mixture at all. So after I mix together well, then I add into dry ingredient. The dry ingredient actually uh, milk powder and uh, flour. So after I mix it well, this is the trick. Okay, you use uh, whatever you uh, normally use. This one I use, uh, with, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, anyway, mix it well, like that. So I mix the dry ingredient and wet ingredient uh, r roughly, not very, very hard on mixing. So this is a tip with your hand and flip the ingredient over flip over flip over like that you don't squeeze the dough never squeeze the dough during this stage you know why because if you squeeze the dough lead during this stage the uh, dough will be crumbling and then it's gonna be really difficult to um, fix it so after you mix it well, you rest the dough for about uh, 15 minutes. And then after you rest the dough, it's going to be easy to knead. And then you knead with your hand like that. 
the whole process I using my hand I don't use any equipment so for those who want to do the same thing you can follow my step so I it's quite an exercise for this enriched dough okay by the way I feel this is after one hour that I uh, left the dough into uh, rest then I add salt and pepper uh, sorry <laughs> salt and butter and uh, I mix them together the reason I put in the bucket first because uh, when I rest my dough I rest the dough into the cooler box with an um, ice pad because my kitchen is so hot if I leave it out there you go i gonna have a very sourness sour dough which is i don't want it and the dough will rise so quick and we want a nice flavor okay this is another tip during you mixing the salt and butter i tear out the dough apart like that to make sure that my butter and salt incorporate with every every part of the dough you can't knead it with a big piece of the dough and the butter so after you mix tear it apart and mix together well it need quite a work a hard work to uh, mix them well so what i'm doing here i just you know use my uh, palm to press it down flip it up press it down like that uh, it's, if it's still stiff you just leave it for 15 minutes and then you come back to knead it now i put on the uh, counter and knead it with two hand this is a good exercise i had an office syndrome when i work in the office but in my kitchen i never have any problem you know i love kneading the dough feeling my dough and play with my dough this is gonna go to uh, proof uh, sorry to uh, rest for 30 minutes and this is the first stretch and fold after we mix the butter and the salt so you can see it's very nice and soft who said my dough is stiff this is very nice and soft see after the first mix they are very nice and soft already and just make it well actually you can use koi fold uh, on the second one and the third one but i just want to show you this is stretch and fold this is how the picture look like okay by the way the yudane really make the different for the dough for those who are asking me do you feel different yes it is creates a very nice and soft texture of the dough you know after i mix i just want to see whether it's get the window uh pain test yet it's not yet so we have to do another set and fold this one i just take it out from the bucket it's very heavy dough so i can't do it with uh, a small bucket so what i'm doing here i just uh, separate uh, you know pull it out to make it square and roll it up like normally when i uh, adding the inclusion into my dough so i just roll it up basically what i'm doing here i just trying to get the tension for my dough uh, make it nice and smooth big ball there you go my uh, milk japanese milk bread or brioche now your dough is ready to make variety of bread that you like enjoy your baking send me the message if you can make this beautiful dough and your success if you cannot do it Send me the message and I will help you to fix it. Enjoy. Bye-bye.